I'm Kerry Walton, and uh, I founded a company called Hello Tomorrow. So as Linda kindly said, I'm a qualified accountant, and I've observed people for over 20 years. So I've spent the last 18 months talking to, researching, and running leadership programs for millennials and executives to try and understand this generation gap. What you'll hear time and time again is we're approaching a workforce with five generations in it. And so millennials is one of the generations, and there are many others as well. And my main focus about this it, what is it that makes something work or not, is about the connection between them. It's all very well me preaching about reality and about individualization, but not everybody can speak with everybody and understand that in a big organization. Why? Because there's a big old hierarchy right in the way. And actually, that serves a purpose in all organisations. And you need it for control and responsibility and accountability and etc. But what's happening is there's this middle layer that's causing a lot of the disconnection. So you've got this huge amount of young energy at the bottom. And, you know, life's could, I can do anything. You know, the world's my oyster. Let's try this. Let's do it differently. Let's think differently. And in the middle, you've got a different set of people at a different life stage going, hold on a minute, we just need to get this done. You know, I don't want to rock the boat. We've got a load of list of things to do. Um, you know, there's a time and a place for thinking about that stuff, and here's not now. So what happens is this bottom layer, this, the young generation get disenfranchised, disengaged. I'm not being listened to. And if you flip it on the head and go to the top of the organisation, you've got executives and senior leaders coming out of their life stage into a, right, let's try something new. I've got my career. I know what I'm going to be doing. Let's have a go at something different who go to the same middle layer, who are going, yeah, no, we haven't really got any ideas. And, and you get this double whammy because the executives are going, great, there's no innovation. The bottom are going, oh, God, no one's listening to me. And the middle are going, oh, my God, I've got enough to do. I don't need any more. And so that's just nature of our businesses, OK? That's not unusual. Um, it happens in all the industries that I work across, having been in you know, retail and data environments. It's the same. And so with connectivity, it's not about making our hierarchies flat. It's not about trying to get everybody to talk to everybody. It's about starting a few points of connection where people start to unlock that understanding that they think they have about people. As a challenge and an opportunity, what new connection could you make? Someone that's really different to you, be that generational, be that um, gender, be that diversity. Who could you connect with to understand a little bit about them? What could you learn from someone else if you make that connection? But harness that courage and say to an executive, do you have five minutes for me to sit down with you? I've got some really interesting things that I've seen, which is a different perspective on life to you. What might become available if we all started doing that? So Hello Tomorrow is about connecting without judgment. The more people that you can connect with across these different boundaries and harness that energy and enthusiasm and things that the people at the top quite often have lost the, the energy to do, then actually businesses, people and companies can grow through developing that skill.